Acromegaly is the clinical manifestation of excessive growth hormone. So let's talk about how the growth hormone is produced. Normally, the hypothalamus, which is at the base of the brain, secretes the growth hormone releasing hormone. The growth hormone releasing hormone then acts directly on somatotrophs of the anterior pituitary to induce transcription of the growth hormone gene and thereby to stimulate both synthesis and secretion of growth hormone. The main cause of acromegaly is a pituitary adenoma, which is a tumor of somatotroph cells in the anterior pituitary gland. These somatotroph cells continuously make excess growth hormone. More rarely, acromegaly can result from hypothalamic tumors that release too much growth hormone releasing hormone or even tumors from other parts of the body that start producing the growth hormone ectopically, meaning that it comes from an unexpected location. When the pituitary gland releases the growth hormone into your bloodstream, it triggers your liver to produce a hormone called insulin-like growth factor 1. IGF-1 is what causes your bones and other tissues to grow. Too much growth hormone leads to too much IGF-1, which can cause acromegaly signs, symptoms and complications. The symptoms of acromegaly, which can take years before they are recognized, include growth of the bones of the hands, feet and lower jaw and protrusion of the forehead, soft tissue swelling in hands, feet, face and tongue, increased size of organs and excessive sweating. The diagnosis of acromegaly can be made when there are elevated levels of insulin-like growth factor 1 and growth hormone. An MRI can help confirm the presence of the pituitary tumour. Treatment of acromegaly depends on the underlying cause. If there's a pituitary adenoma, then surgery can be done to try to remove the growth. And in cases where that doesn't work, radiation therapy can be used. Medications like somatostatin analogues can also be used to limit the growth hormone production. Alternatively, growth hormone receptor antagonists can be used to stop growth hormone from binding to target tissues. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.